welcome to our program today in this video we discuss about wpf tile window tile is a rectangular control whose sole purpose is to replicate the windows start screen experience in your one hour microsoft has introduced from windows 8 this type of start screen so let's discuss about that uh, for the benefits of that uh, windows tile screen the window tile screen arrange items styles that can be expanded and collapsed to display on the best of user inputs experience better performance while loading huge amount of data within built-in virtualization process and also the utilize different views for expanded and minimize items we take an example in wpf application and using mops metro we got this type of window for first process i have already created an example and applying all these things so let's elaborate one by one First of you need to add the two packages, one is MAPS Metro, second one is font awesome icon. As you see, we have used the font icons. So right click from the solution, go through the manage NuGet packages, then type mhubs.metro. Select this and install this, right? After installing this, then download the font awesome. So you need to install the font awesome.wpf. As you use the WPF application, so you install that wpf only this is for the bootstrap right you can check in the reference the two packages are downloaded in your application then you need to move to the app.xml these resources must need to add on the app.xml then you need to open the main window view code and add the mhubs controls using mhubs dot metro dot controls here right and we use that mhops control so need to implement metro into here right then go to the view phase of that phase as you see in the design we did all our requirements so we just elaborate one by one how we achieve that right First of instead of uh, window, we add the controls metro. Then we add two controls, one for is mhubs and another for is font awesome, right? Then we set as window as uh, startup location and center screen and background is black and uh, some customization we added on that. So as you see that we have used four rows and four columns on the grid. So we have used the column definition of four columns here and the row definition in the four rows here, right? The control is control style and we did the name as address box. You can see here, then we set the width and vertical alignment and horizontal alignment also in center. Also we fix the height and grid row zero as it is in the zeroth position so we set a zero and column also zero also we set the background color here we set the font of some icon and uh, the icon name is address card there is uh, several uh, icons are available in the font of some in wpf we have already uh, did a example on that so we can uh, go through that so set the vertical alignment and the horizontal alignment the center and foreground as white and width of height also we have set and as for your requirement you can do that we use same as for the calendar and this is internet explorer and youtube as well for uh, for calendar the grid row is zero and column is one right and in for ie the grid is zero and column is two like this youtube the grid is zero and column is three this is our first row is complete like this the second row third row and fourth row as declared apparently when you run the application you can see the tile window look like this look this is our tile window if you want further use for the click event or anything you can use further that suppose i make the grid line such true you can see that the grid lining is so here when I make it false, the line is visible and the black line will be so. So in this way, you can use your one tile window and use in your app. There are several controls in the mhubs.metro. If you want to add the, all the controls in a toolbox, so you, you also add that. For the adding the toolbox, you have 
suppose add a new tab this tab is metro ui suppose you have named that metro ui and just go to the choose items and copy your devop file being a devop file because of the dll is to be here after adding the reference of that the dll is placed here just copy that and just go to the browse and paste here and choose mapsmetro dll then open that it will take some second to add in the components then click ok after adding this all the mops controls are added here you can just drag and drop and, and use that the source code is available on the github the link is found in the description box also for more details please go through the core program website the link also said in the description box please do like and subscribe for upcoming videos thanks for watching